Hello everyone. So we are back today with the old news. If you remember, Cathay got data leaked in October 2018, last year, and uh, last week there was a data breach incident investigation report, which I am showing on my screen, which came out from the Privacy Commissioner from Hong Kong for uh, personal data, Stephen Ki Kai Yi Wong. To the second half of all about money. The shares of Cathay Pacific tumbled nearly 7% to a nine-year low last year after they announced a massive data leak. The city's flagship carrier said while the personal data of over 9 million passengers have been compromised. There was so that was a quick glimpse of the news which happened last year. And uh, the person on the screen is the person in charge of this investigation, Kai Yi Wong. We set up a new office uh, representing the government of Hong Kong uh, about five, six years ago. Uh, EU is uh, our largest, uh, uh, second largest. Okay, without wasting time, jumping directly on the investigation results. So, as per the investigation in October 2014, the first group of hackers dropped a keylogger onto one of the reporting systems in Cathay, which allowed them to move laterally through the network and gather other credentials before seizing that in uh, March 2018. So a keylogger is, um, is a virus or a malware which will log everything you type on the keys. So if you type your password, username, it will be logged and sent to the command and control center. That's the usage of the keylogger. There was another group which actually took advantage of a decade old vulnerability which was there for almost 10 years which is pretty surprising how can a big company keep a vulnerability open for 10 years um, actually that, that allowed the group the second group to bypass authentication and access the administrative tools residing on that particular server which got impacted Cathay gave the reason that they could not update that system for a long time because that application running on that system actually was incompatible with the Airbus fleet manual application which is important I believe and that's why they couldn't update it. Another reason Cathay gave was that they do have an annual vulnerability scanning which is not enough as per as per me I mean you should scan at least monthly uh, but they had an annual vulnerability scanning practice which could not detect this vulnerability uh, and they blame it on the security tool they were using because the security tool did not have a, the correct signature but actually in the investigation um, Kai Ye Wong found out that the signature was already released in 2013 it's just that Cathay didn't use it. Another issue was that Cathay was allowing administrative tools to be accessed directly from the internet although it was with two-factor authentication but not too strong. In the investigation they found that four out of 120 systems containing personal data were actually hit in the data leak and it was surprising that Cathay was having personal data of users on so many servers which included customer loyalty system database of web application reporting system and a transient database for members to claim non-air awards in the hack 41 user credentials were actually leaked or uh, uh, broken uh, which included administrative accounts, web and service accounts. It was also found that Cathay left unencrypted database backups on production servers, which the commissioner found uh, surprising as per him, the, the, the migration uh, for which the, the uh, uh, backup was kept in the production servers should have been done in, in more effective way with the security controls without exposing the personal data unencrypted. And this is the timeline of the attack which happened on Cathay. It started in May 2017 when Cathay found an unauthorized access but didn't do anything for almost a year till March 2018 when they actually saw a brute force attack which locked down 500 staff's login. So 500 people could not log in. And they then linked it back to an issue which happened in 2014 which was the key logger which we showed, which we showed on our first slide. The company also detected on other malicious activities between April and August 2018 but didn't took any action and eventually in October uh, October 2018 Cathay disclosed the breach and and explanation from Cathay why they took so long was that they were doing enough investigation to understand what has breached and who all got breached and that took them this much time few months time but uh, the commissioner doesn't 
agree with that the, as per commissioner they should have reported this more earlier so eventually what all data got leaked it hit 9.4 million accounts out of those 9.4 million accounts what data got leaked uh, the holder names of course of all of them with uh, out of them 61 percent flight information was leaked 53 percent email address was leaked nine percent passport number nine percent of 9.4 million is a big number it it's approximately one million um eight percent date of birth got leaked six percent id card numbers were leaked like, like the passport numbers there are local id card numbers in um, hong kong and then 430 credit card numbers were leaked but Cathay said only oh, out of 430 403 were already expired at the end the commissioner asked Cathay to follow these enforcement actions within next six months so the systems which host personal data it should be free of malware and vulnerabilities it should be using multi-factor authentication for access it should uh, run vulnerability scans more regularly not just yearly although it doesn't say how regularly how much uh, how often um, it should be uh, it should run independent security tests to check if the security is strong enough and there should be a data retention policy which should not copy or keep backup of unencrypted personal data okay so that's pretty much for uh, this investigation report on Cathay's data leak if you got any comments please uh, put it uh, in the comment section on the YouTube and please do like and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to make such uh, videos in future. Thank you everyone.